need computer training for a group or office, contact us today to get a free demo of our training at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing. Microsoft Project uses effort-driven scheduling by default when you assign your work resources to or remove resources from a specific task. As an example, this means that if you assign one person to a task, Microsoft Project will calculate how long that person will take to complete the task based on the person's work availability. If you assign another person with the same work availability to the same task, Microsoft Project would then decrease the total duration of the task by half. When using effort-driven scheduling, assigning the total workload of the task equally to the two resources results in a reduction of the work time involved by half. Note that you are not required to assign resources to tasks. There are some tasks whose duration cannot be reduced by assigning additional resources. However, for most tasks, effort-driven scheduling allows you to know when a work resource is supposed to be working and on what tasks they should be working. It can also prevent over-scheduling of your work resources that are available. For example, using effort-driven scheduling can prevent assigning too many tasks to a single work resource. It also allows you to track the costs associated with the resource as it completes the task in the project. To allocate resources to tasks, you need to be able to select the task items. You should switch to the Gantt chart view of your project file when assigning resources. You can also see the changes to task durations in this view as well. A helpful feature of the Gantt chart view is that you can view resource assignments for selected tasks in a separate task form within the Gantt chart view. To enable the display of the task form view within the Gantt chart view, click the View tab in the ribbon and then check the Details checkbox that appears in the Split View button group when using the Gantt chart view. You will then see the Resource form view appear in a separate pane at the bottom of the window. Next use the drop down that appears to the right of the Details checkbox in the Split Form button group to select Task Form. This will then change the resource form at the bottom of the view to display the task form instead. When you click a task in the Gantt chart view, you will then be able to see assigned resources in the split pane at the bottom. You can create resource assignments for selected tasks within the Assign Resources dialog box in Microsoft Project. To do this, select the task in the project file to which you want to assign resources, and then either click the Assign Resources buttons that appears in the Assignments button group on the Resource tab within the ribbon, or press Alt plus F10 on your keyboard. Next, select the name of the work resource that you wish to assign to the selected task from the list shown in the Assign Resources dialog box. Now note that if you wish to select more than one work resource, you should click the first resource to select it, hold down the control key on your keyboard, and then click on any other work resources you would like to select. You can then release the control key when you're done making your multiple selections. Now once you've selected the correct work resource or work resources, you can then click the assign button to the right to assign those selected resources to the selected task. Once you click the Assign button, you will then see the units and cost for the task assignment shown for the selected resources in the Assign Resources dialog box. You may also see an R&D column if you're using Microsoft Project Professional. This column is related to setting a priority for resource assignments if using Microsoft Project Server with the Resource Substitution column. Note that you can also remove work resources in this dialog box by selecting the Resource to Remove and then clicking the Remove button to remove the resource assignment. This will also impact the units and costs shown. 
If desired, you can also substitute one work resource for another. By selecting the Assigned Work Resource to Replace within the list, and then clicking the Replace button to open the Replace Resource list. Select the name of the substitution work resource from this list, and then click the OK button to substitute the resources. Notice that substitution may change the units and costs shown, but not necessarily. Now when you've finished making your work assignments, click the Close button. Note that you should be able to see your resource assignment information for the selected task within the task form at the bottom of this window now that you have work assigned. Note that you can also assign work resources to selected tasks by simply using the task form split view that's shown within the Gantt chart view. For example, if you wanted to add a second work resource to a selected task, first select the task within the Gantt chart view. Any resource assignments will then be shown in the task form view at the bottom of the split within the window. You can add a resource by simply clicking into the next available blank row in the resource name column within the task form view. Then use the drop down arrow that appears to select the name of the second work resource to assign to the project. Now note that the effort driven checkbox within this pane should be checked and that fixed units should be selected from the task type drop down within this pane. That means that when you click the OK button in the task form to save your changes, Microsoft Project will use effort driven scheduling on this task and recalculate the duration of the task while holding the actual units of work performed as a fixed value. This will then cause Microsoft Project to decrease the duration of the task based on the extra work that the second resource can perform. Note that if you didn't want the addition of a second resource to decrease the duration of the task, then you could choose Fixed Duration from the Task Type drop-down within the Task Form view, and then click the OK button to allow Project to keep the duration of the task fixed and simply decrease the work hours attributed to the task to each resource assigned, changing the units of work for each resource on the task. You can also keep the work value for the task fixed, if desired, by choosing Fixed Work from the Task Type drop-down when assigning work resources by using the Task Form view. This can often result in a durational decrease as well. Now also, if you simply do not wish to use effort-driven scheduling for a selected task, you can uncheck the effort-driven checkbox. Now remember that when you add or remove resources, you should click the OK button shown within this view to save your work assignment changes for the selected task. After you've done that, Note that you can also click the previous and next buttons that then appear within the task form view to move to the next task selected within the project file. This is simply another way to move through the tasks shown within the Gantt chart view. Like what you see? Get a free demo of our training for groups of five or more at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing.